Okay, Jay, we're going to show how to use a current clamp and a meter and a remote start button to find a short circuit in this harness. So basically what we have here is we have a remote start switch connecting positive to the wire that's shorted out here somewhere. And you're going to show me with the current clamp what happens when I, when I connect the circuit. So you put your current clamp around there and I hit the button and boom, I have 63 amps. So we know we have high current flow. And that high current flow is going in to here. So where do you want to go next, Jay? You want to go right there? So if you're going to go there, we have to be careful to make sure that we don't create a short on the, on the frame here. Okay, we have 60 amps right there. So that 60 amps is going this way, but you have a Y in the harness here, right? Mm -hmm. So how are you going to isolate between here or here? Uh, you can test either side, so we can start with this side. Okay, so you go around there. I'm gonna hit the button, nothing. One amp, but that was insignificant. But if you go here, boom, we have our high current. So now we know what? That is traveling that way. Okay, so we have another bunch of branches here. So where do you wanna go next? Uh, we could try over here. Okay, go ahead. So you're gonna go out there nothing I mean basically one so now what do you want to do three and it's still kind of insignificant you want to go in the middle there and see if you can isolate the middle okay so in the middle 60 amps okay so we know it's there but it wasn't here so that makes it have to be down this branch here so we move down 52 amps okay so now where do you want to go there's a couple some branches and stuff coming off of this what do you want to do next? You just want to do like Let's just a... try over here and see if it's this direction. Okay, so we're going to do it here. So 60 amps, yeah. 66 amps I saw right there. So now where do you want to go? Let's try here. Okay, so you had a bunch of branches. It had 66 here and you have all these branches. You're going to start with that one. Okay, okay that's what you want to do. Okay, push the button. 64 amps. So it's definitely on this side here. What do you got? You got two possibilities here. Which one do you want to test next? Uh, let's try this one. Okay, so you're going to go around that one. One amp. So you're going to go around that single wire right there. 64, 64 amps. Boom. Amps. Your short circuit is on this wire. And that's the end of it, so it has to be right there. And that's exactly how you would isolate a short using a curved clamp.